Hey, so in this video I'm going to talk about subroutines. So subroutines are actually not that difficult. They're fairly straightforward. They can be complicated, but in this video I want to show you a simple example of how we create a subroutine and then how we recall it. So this can be a program where you have repetitive code or something that you use often in other programs. Uh, my example here has a simple uh, a simple part with just a manual alignment and a DCC alignment. So the first thing we want to do is I would recommend putting your subroutines in special programs. Like don't just make it a normal program and we'll save it in a certain spot on the computer which I'll show you in a minute. So let's first create a subroutine and then I'll save this program into my subroutine directory. First thing we want to do is put our cursor where we want the subroutine to begin. So this is important. So if we have certain tips or certain probe files that we want to include, we need to make sure we do that by placing the cursor at the correct spot. So I'll just put my cursor here after the tip command and before my first manual feature. So this will work for me and I'll show you later when I recall it that this will work. Okay, so I've also saved a layout that has a subroutine toolbar. You can see it up here. It just makes it quicker for me. Um, first thing I want to do is create the subroutine command. And I'll show you in the menu where we find that. So that's under insert, flow control commands. And down here you can see subroutine, n sub, and call sub. So those are the three I'll be using in this demo. And I have them on this toolbar here. So we'll just use the toolbar. So the first one is just the subroutine. We'll just give that a click and then give it a name. So I'll just call this uh, alignments and say OK. So that's it. So you can see the command line there, subroutine command, the name of it in blue, and then the equal sign. So everything after the equal sign will be included in my subroutine. So next we need to end the subroutine. So the end of mine will be the end of my DCC alignment right there. So I'll just press my handy uh, icon here, end sub, and you can see the command line. And that's basically it. So we give it a name, we set where it starts, and we set where it ends. And that will be saved inside of this special program. Okay, so now next step is to save this in that location. So this is not required to save it in a certain spot, but it's recommended. So what I've done ahead of time is in edit set search path, edit preferences, set search path. I've actually made a, a subroutine directory right here. Or I've specified one and you can see it here. Um, I can just copy that path so I can access it pretty quickly. And I've put in this folder all my programs that contain subroutines. So this just helps us later when we have to recall it. So this isn't required, but it's, it, it's actually pretty helpful. So I'll just exit out of that. And let's go ahead and save this as a program. So I'll do save as. And you can see these are all of my subfolders. And I'll just go ahead and open that 2019 subroutines folder I created. And this is it here. So I'll call it subroutine demo. I have a second one in there called my subroutines, which I'll access later. So let's go ahead and save that program containing the subroutine in this special folder. Let's save that. So that's going to help us later when we want to recall this. Okay, so now that we've saved the subroutine, let's go ahead and open a new program to recall my two alignments. Okay, so here's a brand new program. Um, it's important here that I have the same uh, probe file and the same active tip um, as in my subroutine. If not, I could have adjusted for that inside of the subroutine, but I just wanted to keep this pretty simple. So let's go ahead and, and recall that subroutine. So it's my third icon here, call sub. So again, from the menu, it's insert flow control call sub. So I'll click this one just to show you. So here is where 
saving it in that special folder really comes into play. So I'll click the select subroutine button. And you can see if I use the user directory, which is the one I showed you before, all it contains is programs that have subroutine. If I click current directory, it'll have all of my programs that I've created from PCDMIS in this particular version. So anyway, let's go ahead and click my subroutine demo. And you can see it lists all the subroutines contained inside of that program which in my case is only one, so I'll select that, click OK, and then OK again. And all my program has now is that first block of code and then that one command line, and that is all we see. And that contains everything that I created inside of that subroutine. So let's see if that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click Execute. So this is my manual alignment. My plain, so simple plain line point, my DCC alignment executing. That's it. So that's a very simple subroutine, about as simple as it gets. But you can see it's actually not that hard. It can get more complicated with arguments and so forth, but that is a very simple one. The point of this demo was just to give you the, the framework or the basics of a subroutine, show you how to create it, where to store it, and how to recall it. Okay, so uh, that's about it. Just hopefully uh, you found that useful and you can use that in your programming. Well, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.